What up, y'all? Uh, I just want to do a quick video just covering and talking about Mobasa. Um, Mobasa is a pretty new grass to me. I've only been dealing with it for about a year now, but uh, I love it. It's super vigorous. Uh, this actual Mobasa here was cut uh, two weeks ago and it's ready to get cut back. Um, and we harvest it, or not harvest it, but we manage it with a rice knife, um, chop it at the as low to the base as possible, and then just throw it to where we need to mulch. But what I'm also doing here now is um, taking some propagation material. Um, I've also from seed, uh, from my personal experience and what I've gathered from other people, the germination is awful. So I find it a lot easier, and what I've gathered from other practitioner, it's easier to um, propagate from clumps. So I have this line here that we're gonna go ahead and remove all this mobasa down this line and down this line, just because I don't want it on this in the system, just because mobasa uh, really likes to fan out. And since I don't want to constantly be managing the fanning of the mobasa grass going into the market garden beds, I'd rather have another grass that has a more upright growing habit like Napier. So that's what I actually plan on doing is just uh, transitioning this out and planting Napier grass uh, along all down my center tree lines for the market garden. Um, but so far what I've done just cut it back um, to about, what is that, about a 12 inches long, about a foot long. And then I'll just be separating these, I don't know what to call it, I guess canes or clumps or separate this clump into individual pieces, which, hold on, let me, it's hard to do this with one hand. And just separate that and just plant that down the line that um, I want to introduce Mabasa and I've had tremendous amount of success. So this is what I'll be working on for the rest of this evening and uh, just collecting some propagation material for this, uh, for the back system that, um, that I want to have in an abundance of Mabasa. All right, so um, right now, what I'm working on is planting out this Mabasa. So last evening I collected all my propagation material from that line that I was removing the Mabasa, um, which I have right here. And uh, now it's time to plant. So I'm planting a 200 foot line um, here and planting the Mabasa every 200 feet, or sorry, every two feet. And uh, yeah, that's essentially it. It's nothing too complicated. I just kind of want to show my process and what works for me in, in this context. So here's the clump, or here's all my, I guess we'll call them slips, <laughs> of my Mbasa that I collected uh, last evening. And here is the line that I'm planting at every two feet. So I'm just gonna run down and just kind of mark it and lay out where I'm gonna plant. And then I'm gonna come back and use this hori hori to essentially hit my mark, kind of make an opening, and then place my slip there, and then use the hori hori to backfill it, um, which pushing the hori hori in front of the cluster and just kind of pushing and backfilling that dirt. So to make sure there's a good root to soil contact. And then I'll be working on this whole line and I'll show you the process once I'm done. All right, just got done finishing planting this 220 foot line of Mombasa. And just kind of want to show you the final thing and what it's going to look like probably in the next like four to eight weeks. And yeah, and there it is. 220 foot line of Mobasa planted two feet apart. So 110 slips right on the edge of my tree line, which this tree line is here to service 
or everything that's planted and my main target species is for bananas and also as another functionality of creating uh, more of a microclimate in here for the other species that I'm putting in. Um, yeah, and let me go ahead and show you the other established line. Um, the other line that I'm about to show was planted, let's see, last, I want to say it was September. So I'll show you that right now. And now here's that established, more established line that was planted last September. I've pruned this back two times since, actually three times since, and I'll be coming through in the next week or two and uh, pruning this back and feeding it to the, to the banana line. Anyways, hope all is well, y'all.